Hi, I'm Brian Pickett with LGT Transport. Today we're bringing you a safety training video of coupling and uncoupling of trailers. The first step to coupling a tractor and trailer is to ensure the fifth wheel is greased and not dry. This applies only to steel plate fifth wheels, not aluminum, as they do not require grease. If it's dry, make sure to grease it up. If already greased, move to the next step. Next, you'll need to make sure the fifth wheel lock is open and ready to accept the trailer kingpin. Before starting the coupling procedure, walk to the back of the trailer and make sure the trailer wheels are chocked. Time to get in the tractor. Once inside, start the engine. Check that the tractor parking valve and trailer parking valve are in the out position. Build the trailer brake air pressure to at least 90 PSI. Before backing the trailer into position, open the driver's side window for improved visibility and hearing. Release the parking brake and back up so the kingpin is directly in line with the fifth wheel. Stop within one to two inches from the trailer kingpin plate. Before backing the tractor under the trailer, we first need to check the trailer height to ensure the fifth wheel is high enough to slightly lift the trailer. If the trailer is not at the right height, properly position it. Once the height is adjusted accordingly, check the kingpin to be sure it is aligned with the tractor fifth wheel plate opening. Set the cab controlled fifth wheel to the locked position. Now, back under the trailer until the fifth wheel locks securely. Next step, the tug test. Gently pull forward and backward to ensure the kingpin is securely locked by the fifth wheel. We recommend two tug pulls. Set the brakes and exit the cab. Visually inspect the kingpin with a flashlight to ensure the jaws are latched around the kingpin, not sitting on top of it. Next, hook up the air lines. Raise the landing gear to full up position and properly stow the handle. Remove the wheel chocks and complete the final walk around inspection. And that's it. The coupling procedure is now complete. We are now going to show you how to properly uncouple a tractor and trailer. Step 1. Gently back the tractor against the trailer. Now, pull out the trailer parking brake button. Exit the cab and place chocks between the duals. Lower the landing gear until the trailer legs touch the ground.
Verify both gears are extended and the legs are in contact with the ground. Disconnect the air and electric lines. Complete the walk around inspection of the trailer unit. Next, release the fifth wheel locks. Pull forward slowly to uncouple. Stop while the trailer is sitting above the rear frame. In the event of a mishap, this will keep the trailer from falling to the ground. Exit the cab and visually inspect to ensure everything is safely ready to separate. Now pull forward. Lastly, place chocks on the tractor wheels. And that's that. The uncoupling procedure is now complete.